Sono rimasto colpito dalla frase con cui ha iniziato il professore, non che la Serbia non avrebbe responsabilità nella conquista di Sarajevo. Io ho capito che Dimitri Edici, colonnello Apis, invece fosse coinvolto. Um, I was a little surprised when I heard that you think Serbia had no real responsibility in the conflict because I think that Colonel, Colonel Dimitrovic knew about it and he yeah. was in the loop. L let me make this clear. There is no question that the Black Hand and uh, significant Serbian army officers, of course, provided the weapons and perhaps also the impetus for the assassination. But the question um, the key question is, was the Serbian government complicit in this? And to me, um, we know that in 1913 um, that uh, the Black Hand had considered assassinating, basic, the, um, the Serbian Prime Minister. To me, as a matter of common sense, uh, given that the relations between the Black Hand and the Serbian government, uh, I'm not aware of any convincing evidence. We shall never know for sure, but I, I'm not persuaded by any evidence that the Serbian government was complicit. And to me, to justify branding Serbia as a rogue state, as Christopher Clark does, um, I believe you have to think the Serbian government was involved. Although at the same time, there is no question Serbian behavior was irresponsible. But did it deserve the destruction of the Serbian state? To me, no.